Some time ago I was doing a project up at Phase One Studios in Toronto and we finished tracking, uh, did a rough mix on the Neve console that um, where we tracked it and sounded great, great sounding room. And I got a call from the artist a few days later saying, hey, I need to use the rough mix for something, for a video. Could you go in and do me a rough mix but with other a couple of other little balance changes in it it'll be fine for what i need and i was like well unfortunately i'm back in la i'm not in toronto any longer i said let me call the assistant up there and he can do the rough mix so called the assistant he did the rough mix and i got the rough mix back and it sounded amazing and i felt a little uncomfortable because i thought it was more impressive than my rough mix and I called the assistant sorry I called the assistant engineer I asked him what did you do the rough mix it sounds amazing and he said nothing it's just flat you know and he said I just kind of modeled your balances in your rough mix and maybe I put a little top end on the snare drum but but it's just a flat rough mix like yours and I said I don't, I don't understand it. it sounds so much clearer and so much punchier, more aggressive than my mix. He said, oh, I forgot to tell you, Studio A was booked, the Neve Room was booked, so I had to do it in our B studio that has an API Legacy Plus. And I was like, really? That's the difference? The difference in the Sonics were so dramatic. The Neve one sounded great. It was fat, juicy, and musical, but the API one just had this life and clarity and, and, and uh, excitement to it that I, I was blown away. So I, I just called the studio back and I said, I'm coming back in about a month to mix the record. I want to do it in your API room.